Hello everyone, my name is Blake from SparkFun and I'm here to show you my latest project. This is actually a sunrise alarm clock. Um, if you're anything like me, waking up to an alarm is just the worst. And so I've seen these sunrise alarm clocks before, I never purchased one, but always wanted to try one. And then I realized I work for SparkFun and we make things ourselves. One thing I wanted to make sure of with this project is that it would be more than a bunch of PCBs and LEDs sitting in a corner. For me, this project had to fit the space of our room, so I started out with a rough sketch to make sure it would fit the materials that would live inside of it. The next step was taking all the planks that I had and cutting them to size. I then chose a random assortment of the blocks to make each one of the rays of sun just a little bit different from one another. Once I was happy with my choices, it was time to glue everything together. Once the glue had settled, I ran them through my thickness planner to make sure that everything was going to be easier to get square and flush later on. Then I took each of them over to the table saw to cut the angles out. The most crucial part to make everything align properly was to turn my router table into a joiner to make sure every side was smooth. Once all the sides were smooth, I took them back inside and started to arrange them into the sequence I wanted to get the desired effect. Then it was time to glue them all together. Once the glue dried, I cut out the shape and then it was time to put the sides together. I used my Craig jig to cut the pocket holes. Once all the pocket holes were drilled, it was time to bring all the joints together. Once all the sides were constructed, I cut out all the holes for the lights to come through. Using a Forstner bit and a jigsaw worked just fine for this project. I then measured out some acrylic sheets for where the light will shine through from the LEDs. Once the acrylic was sized and cut out, I used some frosting spray to hide the electronics inside. After a good amount of sanding, I took the enclosure back out to the router table to round the edges. After everything was sanded and smooth, it was time to bring it back in and apply some teak oil to bring out the natural colors. That pretty much finishes up the build, so now it was time to put in the electronics. Essentially, this project required three different components. A SparkFun breadboard, a real-time clock module, and some LEDs from our Illuminati line. The program works by getting the time from the clock module and calling the first function. That in turn lights the LEDs on a dim setting with some deep blues and purples to signal the beginning of the sunrise. The code calls to change each of the RGB values every 10 seconds to slowly fade the colors into more reds and oranges. Over the course of around 15 minutes, the LEDs get brighter and eventually work their way to mimic the sun passing the horizon. I hope to soon incorporate an MP3 shield which would allow me to add a speaker that could slowly increase volume of any sound that I choose. So thanks for watching. If you like the craftsmanship element of this project, check out the next video that I did a while back. And if you'd like to try this yourself, check out the links in the description for parts and code. Thanks. How, what do I, my, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm going to try a little bit. And uh, if you like, blah, 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 no us. Thinking to myself like, you're doing better than you expected. <laughs> uh, the next video here, that uh, sucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right.